take it to a moment where the fields are painted gold and the trees are filled with memories of the feelings never told when the evening pulls the sun different oatmeals with two different milk. You're going to try both of them and then whichever one that you think tastes the best, you're going to guess which one was the winner for the oatmeal here. Okay. This is... Should I tell you? Don't know. Oh, no, 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 So, I mean, yeah, that seems like oat milk. That's not. This is oat milk. That one is the banana almond milk, and that's the one. Oh, banana almond milk. Uh huh. Oh, I didn't know that was an option. I, 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 I thought that was, um, I thought that was, um, carnation. No. No. So, uh, well, the oat milk tastes a little bit like, like, it tastes kind of like regular, right? Yeah, like water. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like yeah, water. Like, like, more watery. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, the banana one is the winner. Okay, banana, um, almond. Let them know what we want with that, and we're going to do carnation. Oh, yeah. yeah, we usually do. Oh, yeah, guys, so here's what we want with the almond, um, banana. Almond breeze, hey. Yeah, the almond breeze. Okay. Oh, you don't know. Kayla, are you rolling? Yeah, but I'm going to cut it off, though. Yeah, but. <laughs> Hey everyone, guys, go check out our um that day so from last week. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Not even in the, like, off in the frame. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Well, good morning. It's Saturday morning. Hey everybody, good morning. Um, I hope you all are doing well. 
here is just um a saturday morning with k it's just more of like um saturday morning type of thing and then we're gonna do my quiet time together so not so much of like a quiet time routine but i'll do a quiet time with me because simply of the fact um that i don't really have a set routine at this rate in this season of my life it's more so just me just opening my heart and just longing for closeness with our father and just fully just like conversating with him spending time with him i mean when we spend time with a loved one or a friend or whatever the case is it's not always the same exact copy paste outings right let me bring you guys up okay i feel like i almost just cut off i can't really see the frame right now so let's i'm hoping that everything is just coming together but um yeah so with that i'm just going to take you guys along on what i'm going to be doing with our father this morning and just like my thoughts what i'm gathering and um yeah what i'm going to be studying this morning so i think just about now it's actually noon um i let myself like fully ease into today because i was so exhausted for the week so i'm i'm extremely blessed for the rest i got this morning um after my week so yeah it was like a long week then last night friday night i was babysitting and i was done i was tired after friday and i went to sleep and woke up today at like 9 i think 40 in the morning or probably 30 yeah i checked my phone at 9 40. so i'm so thankful for that and um yeah now like I'm welcoming this full day of rest and spending time with our father. I'm like, let me bring you guys along and let's get more of my quiet time, Bible study routining content and just videos back into play because I'm so thankful for that. So, um, oh man, this plant. Anyway. So for today, we're just going to start with um, prayer journaling. Um, yeah, we're going to start with prayer journaling. But I think what I'm going to do is, I want to get out... So I just got, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it simple and just get a pen and a highlighter out. Let's see. I need to find my New King James Study Bible. I want to take that out because I want to also pray out the fruits of the spirit this morning and the armor of Elohim because I'm going to start off with that and I also want to write out some scriptures from those books. I forgot that I, I put it on my bookshelf. That would have been a good place to look first. Yeah, so I'm going to use my New King James study Bible. We are also going to go into the Seeper Bible. So presently, I like to refer to both the New King James or King James Bible. I have both. Um, in addition to the Seeper, that way I, I love to compare different like words that are used and see the differences from the Seifer. But I'm vowing to keep my phone down in a way and not pay attention to it at the moment because here is the time that we need to soak up and have intimate time in the Word and just, you know, 
top of my father, so. While studying the Book of Enoch, there were some few gems that I was reminded of in reviewing the first chapter again. Further in this video, I'll mention the verses that I've highlighted and revisited, and one of which being going back to Enoch chapter 1. Now, the Book of Enoch, you'll find this in the Sefer Bible. Yeah. Just for some background, in the Book of Enoch, there was a lot going on. In this time major destruction and there were legit giants that overcame those who were righteous and there were um customs and ways that was like taught that obviously was out of the will of our father so with that going back to the first chapter verse one where it reads the word of the blessing of enoch or shanak in this Hebrew text, how he blessed the elect and the righteous who were to exist in the time of trouble, rejecting all the unrighteous and wicked. So I love this first chapter reminding, well, the beginning verses where it said, how he blessed the elect and the righteous who were to exist in this time of trouble. That makes me think of just how, like, all that we encounter in our lives, whether it's trials, um, temptations, or good things, or all that we experience is in the will of our Father. How the blessed elect and the righteous were to exist in this time of trouble. So at that time of um, Enoch, they were to exist through all the wickedness that occurred and that so resonated with us believers today the main thing that i prayed for in today's prayer and which father kind of gave me an idea to do i asked father to like help me to start my days off better as i'm in this new season well to help my to help me start my days off better in him if that makes sense um as of late, I've been kind of doing my quiet time on the go, which if you guys keep up with my Instagram stories and if you guys are with me there, you guys will know that. I bring my Bible or I will use my Bible app or spend time in worship on the train or typing out my prayer. That way, like mentally and physically, I'm focused on Father and start my day. But um, I pray to start my day better in Him where like my whole being is set on him even from the time that i'm like getting up getting dressed and like grabbing my things because that still there time can be so i'm like tired first thing I, I focus on my tiredness or what i have going on for that day or what my work day will look like um what i can squeeze in in that day for personal endeavors or you know youtube or those things right or like things i have to do when i get back like fold my clothes I just jump in and just think about my task for the day. But I want to focus on recentering myself and Father where like I, I at least set 30 minutes in and I've been praying for Father to help me on that and like find a way to kind of consistently set that time in him in the morning properly rather than me first waking up and just focus on getting ready and out and focusing on my tiredness because then when I get to work, I'm focused on being tired and not having the most positive mindsets. But I, I immediately try to combat that with finding gratitude and still having employment right now, having a job, and where I am. Because I know many are having opposite. Um, especially with just coming out of college and all these things. So I'm grateful to be in the season that I am and just navigating a rhythm in that so I was praying for well praying against first of all the laziness or the lazy times that I've noticed in myself in devoting time in warfare or worship or coming to the word I can kind of prioritize my flesh and like say I just want to lay down and sleep or scroll my phone 
or talk to this person. And it's like, no, all these things are not priority um, in comparison to like my relationship with the father. Like I think that should be at the forefront and which it is. But I'm like, father, help me in those times, right? Like depart laziness from my um, being. Um, that's the main thing that I was praying for. Then just also in today's prayer, I just was just really just like turning my reverence onto Father and just worshiping him, just thanking him for being my strength, my redeemer, like his mercies in this new day and just re recentering my mind on the things of him. As for my weekdays, I'm sitting here praying. I'm like, Father, how can I do this? And he gave me the idea where I could have spent five, maybe 10 minutes prayer journaling and that will wake me up. And then just basically I can just use the other page for like my Bible study like notes. Father chose us, this group, this generation of believers, whether young or old, all who come to seek him and believe him and serve him righteously by his word. Um are counted blessed by him because he allowed us to exist mercifully day after day to continue to strive in our faith and that's just so encouraging just to know that like amongst all we're around nowadays whether it's just the world issues you fill in the blank i mean you know we all are living in the same time to consider this time even a time of trouble right the climate of our world, the state of our people, and just the wickedness that appears. It's like we are still, were to exist and are to exist by our Father's purpose in this time. And that is just such a blessing that he called us, he called you, he called me to exist in this time for a great purpose and to endure in our faith. So I just was like writing down some verses that I'm like, I highlighted, right? And that I wanna like cling on to on the back of this um, prayer journal entry for today. Um, so yeah, so taking it back to like what I've studied from chapter one all the way to chapter 13 and 14 today, I kinda wanna start to write down the verses that I want to highlight or cling to like I said so I kind of started doing that and then through the day and week I will do my flashcard method as you guys know that is just where I just go ahead and take either a piece of paper a flashcard um, what else do I do or in my Bible study journal hence why I kind of wrote on the binding preceding word because this is the preceding word of God where um, his word is alive and active and true with, and he's constantly speaking to us through his word. So. So of course we've got the neighbor. Oh. Of course we've got the neighbors doing lawn mowing work. At the point in which I wanted to just wrap up this video. Um, what was I was gonna say. Oh no! But firstly, it was a peaceful morning. I'm glad that I started with sleeping in, cleaned up my space a little bit got things going with breakfast and things with my family downstairs is enjoying a full morning i'm grateful for the weekends and saturday mornings um so i'm really soaking that up especially this weekend um enjoy the day soak up in the word relax rest read 
anything, tidy up around the house, and like handle the things that I kind of neglect during the week. So what I am glad for too is that like my room is not completely in disarray. There's some weekends you'll find my week is showing face in my room because you'll see shoes and mint mats and whatever, but all I have is laundry. I think a cool two load. Yeah, so I just wanted to do a little video taking you guys along into a morning of mine, easing into the morning or waking up. Yeah. That kind of wraps up this video and kind of my quiet time portion or like what my Bible time kind of looks like. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for being here and staying and subscribing and commenting and interacting because I do enjoy making videos and seeing you guys hopefully more on a weekly basis. Thank you for your patience.